Now I've got another fun tie for you today, folks. And I know I probably shouldn't do two streamers in a row because nobody watches streamer videos, which I don't know why because they are a lot of fun to tie and really fun to fish. Now I found this one in an old copy of George Herder's Professional Fly Tying, Spinning, and Tackle Making. Now I've never really recommended this book because it's just old, it's not really a good how-to book, but if you can find a used copy out there for $10 or so, it's probably worth it just for the really cool color plates in it. And there will be a lot of really cool patterns in here that you've probably never heard of, like the one I wanna do for you right now. It's called Joe's Panther. Now I have no idea who Joe was or why he had a panther, but the fly caught my eye because of the flashy colors and the fact that it uses peacock sword fibers, which I think is an underused material. Now I did see one picture of this online and it was a really good looking fly, but he used red hackle for the tail and peacock hurl for the wing. Now I'm gonna stick with what Herder had in the book, which will make it a little bit shaggier looking, but still a pretty cool looking streamer. So there it is in the vise, a Joe's Panther. Pretty neat pattern. I'm gonna say this is largely a forgotten fly. This is certainly not popular now, uh, if it ever was popular, but I guess Herder thought it was. That's a size six, three extra long, one extra heavy barbless streamer hook. We're gonna just catch in some black thread. This is a 140 denier. We'll catch it into the back where we're gonna start the tail. And I think the tail on this, just red wool. This is a small piece of red wool yarn. I think it's a three or four strand, but I'm gonna catch it in maybe a little bit longer than I think we need, because we can always trim it. We're gonna fluff it out, kind of like a black nosed dace. Okay, so that's gonna be our tail right there. Just go ahead and bury this little front piece right here, or that's probably good enough. And I'm gonna fluff it out before I catch anything else in, so we kind of unravel it. I've got this little popsicle stick with a piece of Velcro on it. Mine is made by Orvis, see that? I'm just kidding, I wrote that on there. But it's a very convenient little thing to have. So I just fluff this out. Okay, that's fluffy enough for me. And the next thing I'm gonna catch in is gonna be the hackle that we're gonna palmer up. So. I don't have any yellow hen soft hackle. I don't think it needs it. Couldn't tell really in the picture. This is strung saddle hackle. I'm gonna catch it in toward the back here. We'll catch it in with the tip going forward and then wrap it. And I don't know which side should be up. It's gonna be long and swept back fibers. So it probably doesn't matter. And again, in the picture, from Herder's book, I couldn't tell if it had a body or not. So I think maybe it should. So I'm gonna catch in some uh, white, I think this is acrylic yarn. It's one strand of a four strand yarn. And it's just gonna give a little bit of an underbody under this hackle. You won't see a whole lot of this white body. So I don't think it's important to get it perfect. But it will, you know, if, if that yellow doesn't overpower the fly, at least we'll have something under it. Okay, so just catch that in and then we'll bring your thread back up front. We're gonna have a little bit of cleanup here on this back tail. It might be longer than we want, but go ahead and just wrap this up to, our, to the front to where our thread is. And you can take that way up to the front because we don't have a whole lot else going on up there, just the, the wing. And I think I've trapped some of that red right there, that red tail. Okay, now we're fine. So the only tricky part, and you can tell that back of the body is a little thicker than the front, but after we wrap this yellow, you won't be able to tell. So I'm gonna just preen these back as I wrap them. My goal will be to have these swept back and it's just, it takes a little bit of manipulating with your fingers. Maybe we should pull them up a little bit so they don't trap each other with, with every wrap. Okay, try that again. I got some of those already going down. So just finagle it a little bit until you 
until you get it how you want. And then every wrap, we'll just pull them a little, pull them back. But just take your time, work it as you get up front. Okay, I think that's far enough. Let's catch this off. And I'm gonna just lick my fingers and try to pull all these back right here. Okay, I've got it pretty well swept back there. Uh, it's not perfect, but it'll be just fine. So let's go ahead and finish wrapping this right here. And we've only got one component left, and that's our wing. And again, on this one, I couldn't tell if it was Peacock Sword Fibers or Hurl. Uh, the one in Pinterest looked like it was Hurl, but the one in the book looked like it was Sword Fibers. So I'm going with the sword. Got about eight or so of them right here. And these do kinda go all over the place. If you've ever tied the Alexandra, you'll know. They're a little bit unwieldy, but they also look really cool. So I'm gonna just lay them where I want, pinch the hook and the fibers, and then catch them in. So see, they're a little wonky there on the end, but you know, I think that's part of the, the lure, the attraction for these things. Now we've got some butt ends up here to snip off. Now we can just build our big old streamer head. Okay, I think that's big enough. I'm gonna go ahead and whip finish it toward the back of the head here. Now do we have any cleanup? Um, maybe that tail might be just a little bit long right there. Should I try and trim it? Yeah, yeah, let's try trim just a, a touch off of it right here. So there you go, Joe's Panther. Pretty nifty fly and certainly a fun one to tie. So I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time. Okay, folks, I appreciate you sticking around. Let's do a mug giveaway. Actually, two mugs. We got the green one and the tan one. Not gonna be two winners, gonna be one winner. You'll get both mugs. So if you wanna play, just leave a comment. Anywhere in your comment, mention the word coffee. C-O-F-F-E-E. -E. And I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to limit this one to our viewers in the US. These mugs are heavy and it would just cost a fortune to send them anywhere overseas. So that's it. I'll go to the random comment picker in a couple days and pick a winner. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.